Starting our day with God sets a different tone, instilling a deep sense of assurance that He is by our side. Join together in this prayer as we embark on a brand new day. So let us pray. In the name of Jesus, as this morning unfolds and the sun rises, I want you to embrace the profound truth found in Lamentation 3 verses 22 and 23 that say, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I lift you and your family up before God's throne of grace. May the endless well of God's steadfast love and unfailing mercy be the beacon that guides your day. May the Lord help you and your family to recognize the debt of his faithfulness, knowing that his love is unchanging and his mercies are renewed every morning. As you and your family step into this new day, May the Lord grant you a heart overflowing with gratitude of his boundless love that continually surrounds you. May his unwavering faithfulness be your assurance, empowering you and your family to face the challenges and embrace the joys that this day brings. In moments of doubt or uncertainty, I pray the Lord reminds you and your family of his unseasoned love that holds you close. As you navigate the day's endeavors, May the Lord grant you and your family wisdom, insight and discernment to make decisions that honor Him and benefit those around you. May the Lord help you and your family to see each day as a fresh canvas upon which His mercies paint a beautiful masterpiece. As you and your family trust in His faithfulness, may you find strength, comfort and hope to carry you through any situation you may encounter today. And in the name of Jesus, I pray that may the love of God, which never fades, be your family guiding light, illuminating your path and bringing joy to your heart. Let his mercies renewed with each sunrise bring peace and restoration to your souls. I thank you, Lord, for your unending love and faithfulness that accompany them each moment. May you and your family walk in the fullness of his grace today and always in the name of Jesus. I pray for you and your family. Today is a gift crafted by the hands of the Almighty. A day declared by the Lord himself in Psalm 118 verse 24. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. In the midst of life's journey, let the truth resonate within your spirits, filling your hearts with gratitude and your souls with joy. I pray for you and your family as you prepare to step into the blessings and challenges of this day. I ask, O oh Lord, for your divine guidance to surround each step they take. May his presence be palpable, a comforting assurance that he goes before you, leading the way and orchestrating every detail of this according to his perfect plan. May the Lord grant you and your family the grace to approach this day with a heart full of gratitude. May you and your family awaken with thankfulness for the breath in your lungs, the warmth of the sun, the opportunities that lie ahead. May every circumstance, whether perceived as significant or mundane, be met with a heart inclined towards praise and gladness. I pray that Psalm 143 verse 8 will be your family's anthem. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love, for in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go, for to you I lift up my soul. As you start your day seeking God's guidance, may He illuminate the path you and your family should tread. May you and your family be receptive to His voice and discerning of His will as you embark on today's journey. May Isaiah 50 verse 4 be a reality in your life. The Sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. I pray that the Lord awakens every member of your family's ears ready to hear his wisdom and a heart open to receiving the sustenance found in God's love. 
as you and your family face challenges may the lord grant you strength and resilience as you and your family encounter joys may your heart overflows with gratitude in moments of decision making may the wisdom of god be your guide in moments of uncertainty may his peace be your anchor i pray for you in the name of jesus and your family the life will today and always reflect the beauty of God's love and joy of his presence. May you carry the light of his grace into every interaction and circumstance you encounter, becoming a vessel of blessing and encouragement to those around you. Thank you, Father, for the gift of this day. May every moment be an opportunity to glorify your name and may you and your family experience God's goodness and faithfulness in abundance. Today, in the name of Jesus, as the morning light gently touches the horizon, may the truth of Psalm 5 verse 3 resonate within you and your family's heart. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I lay my request before you and wait expectantly. Let this verse be your guide as you begin this new day, knowing that your voice rises to the ears of the Almighty, heard and cherished. Heavenly Father, I come before you, grateful for the gift of a new day. I lift up my voice in prayer for you and my family. I pray that God's presence accompany us through the hours ahead and may your light illuminate the power before us, guiding each step with wisdom and grace. In this quiet moment as the world awakens, I bring my family's concerns, hopes and aspiration to your throne of grace knowing that you hear all our whispers may our hearts desires for the day be met because the expectations of the righteous cannot be cut short so says your word i pray the lord god you guide and direct us and i pray for those under the sound of my voice that you do so for their family in every decision and endeavor today may your wisdom be the family's compass guiding them through the challenges and opportunities that this day holds. May you help them discern the right paths to take, illuminating their way with your truth. I pray for strength and courage for them and their family to face whatever lies ahead. Let the presence of the Lord be your source of unwavering confidence, knowing that he walks beside you through every trial and triumph. Father, I pray that peace envelops the families and their well-being. May your peace which surpasses all understanding guard their hearts and minds, anchoring them amidst life storms. Fill them with a calm assurance that you are in control and that your plan for them are good and not of evil. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name I pray. Amen. You see, God has given you a name above all other names in heaven and on earth. That is the name of Jesus. A name that at the mention of it, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is Lord. No demon can resist or stand against the name of Jesus. Philippians chapter 2 Verses 9 and 11 tells us so. Now today, he has given you the power of attorney to use that same name to cast out demons. The scripture says in Mark 16 verse 17, And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. They shall cast out demons. So whenever the devil raises his head in your life or in the lives of your loved ones, all you can do, you can cast it out at the mention of the name above all names, Jesus Christ. You don't need to engage the devil in a fruitless banter. All you need to do is to call out the name of Jesus and he will hearken to your voice. Every demon shall flee never to return. This you can do if you have faith as small as a mustard seed. You can say to the mountain, move, and it will move. I tell you, nothing will be impossible for you. Today, I want you to join me in prayer as we pray together to cast out every devil's stronghold in your life, family, workplace, city, and country. 
I want you to exercise your God-given authority and faith over all evils in your life. And all this will be achieved only through prayer. So follow me in prayer as I set out to help you cast and bind every stronghold of the devil in your life. Heavenly Father, in the name that is above every other name, Jesus Christ, I acknowledge your sovereign authority as I come before your throne of grace with thanksgiving in my heart. I thank you because you are Abba Father. I thank you because you have fortified us with your spirit to do all things through Christ that strengthens us. I say may your name be highly lifted up in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, is there any way we might have sinned and come short of your glory, whether intentionally or in unintentionally? Lord, I pray that you forgive us of all our iniquities and wash us clean so our supplication can be acceptable in the side in Jesus' name. For those listening, I ask you to renounce any agreement made with the devil by your ancestors or even you if you have not accepted Christ and ask that the Lord breaks every curse going back generations in your family line in Jesus name. And so Father Lord, I pray that as many people listening to this prayer, that you visit their lives to cast out every stronghold of the devil in their lives in the name of Jesus. Turn in the name of Jesus and I declare the deliverance and casting out any demon or evil spirits afflicting their lives. I ask that you come into the midst and fill all their hearts with your Holy Spirit as you surround them with your love, protection and healing light in Jesus' name. As a child of the Most High God seated with Christ in the heavenly places, I command all demons afflicting you under the sound of my voice to come out and go where Jesus Christ tells them to go, which is in Abbey's. As a born again believer, I will the authority given to me in Christ to trample on snakes and scorpions and overcome all the power of the enemy. So no weapon against you that is formed shall prosper. Right now in the name of Jesus, by his shed blood on the cross, I bind the stronghold over you and render every evil spirit in your life deaf, dumb and blind. I say to it, you have no authority here. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. I decree that the Holy Spirit gives you the spirit to discern any unclean spirits that have attached themselves to you or your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. As God anointed, I speak directly to the demons within your life and command them to live in the name of Jesus. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 and 5 say, And we believe that the weapons we fight with and not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. I say again, in the authority given to me from above, every stronghold of the devil within your life, I command to leave in the name of Jesus. I speak, Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. You showed us the mighty working of your ways in Mark 5 verses 1 to 20, where Jesus encounters a man possessed by a legion of demons in the region of Gerasene. Despite being uncontrollable and commented, the demons recognized Jesus' authority. Upon the command from Jesus, they left the man, entering a herd of pigs that rush into the sea. Oh Lord, just as you commanded legions of demons with one command, I command the darkness flee. Everyone listening to my voice today in the name of Jesus. And in the authority of the name of Jesus, I break every curse spell, incantation, voodoo, sorcery, any form of witchcraft or satanic ritual used against you by any person, ancestor, demon or satanist. I break the power of every work spoken in hatred, anger or evil intent against you. As God's child, I render every evil decree against you powerless in the name of Jesus and no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Heavenly Father, 
I ask for your healing balm to flow through everyone listening from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, restoring their body, soul and spirits. I lift them up to you for inner healing of past hurts, wounds, pain and traumatic experiences that gave the enemy license to enter into their lives. Shine your light of truth and revelation into every dark place within their lives in the name of Jesus. May your love, joy and peace flow in place of any bitterness, anger, hatred, rejection, abandonment or spirit of trauma in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. I give you all the glory knowing that you've answered us and you will do exceeding abundantly above all that we have asked or thought of according to your power that is in us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. As you join me to pray today, I pray and I want you to believe that God is always with you. James 4, 7 tells us to submit ourselves to God. Then resist the devil and he will flee from us. In 1 Peter 5, verses 8 and 9, he also tells us to be alert and of sober mind that the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. But we should resist him, standing firm in faith, because the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. He acknowledges your struggles in his words. So, entrust him to guard your path and to fight your battles for you. He is your greatest ally and defender. I pray that you find solace in the assurance that Abba Father is your refuge and fortress in times of trouble. Come to his throne of grace today with expectation, trusting that he will usher in divine protection, victory and deliverance over your life. So let us pray. Almighty Father, I come before your throne of mercy with reverence. I acknowledge your sovereign authority over all things in heaven and on earth. I ask that you forgive us of all our sins. I pray that you wash clean everyone listening in Jesus' name. I pray that you accept our thanksgiving, even as we pray in Jesus' name. So, O oh Lord, I invite you into our midst today. And I pray that you break and destroy every plan of the devil based on the authority you've given unto us. I declare that for every one listening, the plans of the devil in your life are destroyed in the name of Jesus. I speak that you are clothed with the armor of God to stand against every scheme of the enemy. God Almighty disrupts every work of darkness in your life and dispels every evil scheme. Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 12 say, Finally, be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the devil's schemes. For your struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers of darkness, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. I pray today that the Lord will protect and walk with you amidst your troubles. He will work with you like he did with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the fairy furnace. Your enemies will testify God's presence in your life. When they see you, they will see Jesus. When they see you, they will flee because where there is light, darkness cannot comprehend. I invoke God's presence and protection over your life and that of your loved ones. I trust in his power to guide you and shield you from all evil plans. I believe in him to deliver you from all your adversaries. You shall triumph. He will make a public spectacle of your enemies. I decree that you shall have the cause to give good testimony of God's protection in your life in the name of Jesus. In 2 Corinthians 10 verses 4 to 5. The Lord makes us to understand that the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Under that ordinance, I demolish every argument and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And I take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ in the powerful name of Jesus. 
I pray that God Almighty brings confusion and destruction to every evil plan of the enemy set up against you in Jesus name. I exercise the authority given in the mighty name of Jesus to halt and dismantle satanic plots crafted in secret to harm and hinder you from fulfilling your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare boldly that no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The scripture tells us in Isaiah 54 verse 17 that the angels of God hearken to the voice of the word of God and move swiftly into battle array, cutting of counter strategies, trying to withstand the advance of the kingdom. I decree that every demonic assignment, observing your territory and exposing tactics meant to catch you off guard is destroyed in the name of Jesus. I bring every thought captive into the obedience of Christ as it's written in 2 Corinthians 10 verse 5, leaving no vulnerability for the enemy to exploit in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of the Lamb, the word of our testimony, I pray that you overcome the deceptive assault from the thief whose only intention is to steal, kill and destroy what you desire for your life. As it's written in John chapter 10 verse 10, a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand. But no plague of destruction devised by the host, demonic host will come near your dwelling. As it's written in Psalms 91 verse 7. This is God's promise to you and upon that ordinance I declare that all plans of the devil against your family, relationships, finances, possessions, land and livelihoods are dismantled in the name of Jesus. I decree confusion into the enemy's communication channels. Confusion between high-ranking principalities and their subordinate foot soldiers in the mighty name of Jesus. Let their tongues be divided like you did when you confused the languages of the people building the Tower of Babel in Genesis 11. I send ministry spirits to intercept and disrupt all messages being transmitted between satanic regional commanders and low-level operatives. So orders do not flow clearly. May the lines of their supply be severed. In Jesus' name, I cut off all incoming weaponry and back up support of your enemies in the name of Jesus. Oh, Abba Father, we come before you. We remember the powerful way Gideon and his small army defeated the oppressive Midianites who held Israel under cruel domination for seven long years. Though greatly outnumbered, you orchestrated events reducing down Gideon's available fighters to just 300 men so that Israel could not glorify themselves when the victory came and what a mighty deliverance you wrought that night. You caused the enemy to turn on themselves until those vast encamped multitudes fled in terror like mist dissolving under morning light. I ask you listening right now that you experience a supernatural turnaround in your life in the name of Jesus. I declare that where you feel surrounded and outmatched by adversity on all sides, the Lord God Almighty will ride in like a mighty warrior and fight your battles. I decree that by the power of the Holy Spirit, foundations that seem immovable are cracked in the name of Jesus. Every stronghold, ancient walls of oppression are broken in the name of Jesus. Before your eyes, sin, sickness, lack and limitation collapse into heaps of rubble in the name of Jesus. No matter the magnitude of resistance trying to overpower you, you shall overcome because you are more than a conqueror. Through worship and thanksgiving, I proclaim that you witness God's majesty in your life in the name of Jesus as I align my words with God's word welding it as a weapon to disintegrate the demonic souls trying to spread within your circumstances. They are destroyed and reduced to rubble in the mighty name of Jesus. I rest confidently in the full authority of Jesus' name, knowing that Supreme Commander and Calvary hears my plea that the word spoken and the petitions made today is acceptable in your sight, O God. I want you listening and praying with me to rejoice because God has fought and won all your battles. He has made you more than conquerors. He prevails over all works and the plans of the devil against your life. Father, we thank you 
and thank you Jesus for your protection we forever affirm our trust and faithfulness in you in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen the promise of the Word of God declared in Jewel 2 verse 25 says I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten just as the Lord promised restoration to his to the devastation of the locusts I pray for a similar restoration to you in the name of Jesus broken relationships are restored wounds of the past are healed and the fabric of love and trust that has been turned apart or mended in the name of Jesus I declare the brokenness can take any forms misunderstanding hurtful words strained relationships or even years of neglect and I pray that God in his infinite mercy and grace who redeems hills will make all things new in Jesus name May God begin the work of restoration in your life now in the name of Jesus. Where there is pain, healing comes. Where there is bitterness, seeds of forgiveness are sown. Where there is discord, unity and understanding is fostered. I ask for divine intervention to repair what has been damaged and to rebuild what has been lost in the name of Jesus. I pray for softening of hearts in your family that have grown callous, healing of wounds that have been festered and reconciliation with the estrangement. May the Lord grant you and your family wisdom to navigate through the complexities of relationships and the humility to seek forgiveness and extend grace in the name of Jesus. I pray for the peace of reconciliation to permeate your life and your family, allowing forgiveness to flow freely and healing to take root. May the love of God be the binding force that unites you and your family, enabling your family to move forward with hope and a renewed sense of purpose in the name of Jesus. I pray that our Heavenly Father instills within your family a willingness to let go of the past and embrace a future filled with restoration, joy and reconciliation. May you experience the beauty of God's transforming power, turning brokenness into a testimony of your grace and faithfulness. May his restoring work not only mend the visible fractures but also bring a deeper spiritual healing and renewal in your family. May the Lord grant to you and your family the strength to trust in his restoration process, knowing that his plans are for the welfare of you and your family and not for harm. I surrender your family into the loving hands of God, confident that his promise of restoration will be fulfilled. Father, thank you for your unfailing love and the assurance that nothing is beyond your redeeming power. In the name of Jesus. In the assurance of your promise in Isaiah 61 verse 1 which speaks of binding up the brokenhearted and proclaiming freedom to the captives. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. I pray for every fractured relationship, every shattered bond in your family that yearns for your divine touch of restoration. I pray that the Spirit of God moves mightily within your family, bringing forth reconciliation, healing and renewed love. May the Lord heal the brokenness and the pain that has found its dwelling within your family. Merciful Father, you know that wounds that have turned this family apart, the misunderstanding that have sown seeds of discord and the hurts that have caused separation. I leave these hurts, pains and fractures to you, asking for divine intervention. May the Spirit move among your family like a gentle breeze, bringing healing to the brokenhearted, comfort to the hurting and the restoration to the estranged. Bring reconciliation where there is discord, understanding where there is misunderstanding and forgiveness where there is pain in the name of Jesus. I pray in the name of Jesus that the Lord instills within your family a heart of compassion, kindness and forgiveness modeled after his own. Grant your family the strength to bear with one another, to extend grace and to embrace reconciliation with open arms in the name of Jesus. 
Amen. May his spirit work within them, breaking down walls of pride and bitterness and replacing them with breaches of love, empathy and understanding. Let his divine presence mend what has been turned apart, restoring not just relationships, but also trust, respect and unity. I pray the Lord pour out his healing balm upon the hearts of your family members, replacing hurt with empathy, anger with forgiveness and despair with hope. Wounds that are festered over time are bound, granting your family members the courage to confront pain and the humility to seek forgiveness and reconciliation in Jesus' name. For the captives in Isaiah 61 verse 1, I pray for liberation within your family, liberation from past hurts, destructive patterns, and emotional captivity. I pray that they are released from the chains that bind them to brokenness and they guide it towards the path of restoration. They are empowered to embody the love, grace and forgiveness that reflect character of the Lord. May they find peace and guidance in the word of God, allowing this truth to illuminate their path towards reconciliation and restoration. May the Holy Spirit continue to work tirelessly within your family, healing wounds restoring relationships and ushering in a newfound sense of unity, peace and love that only God can provide in Jesus' name. I trust in your unfailing love, O oh Father, believing that you are faithful and the good work you have begun in the family shall be completed in the name of Jesus. In Amos 9.18, the word of God declares, I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and they shall rebuild the ruined cities and inhabit them. As promised in Amos 9 verse 18, restoration to the people of Israel, I ask that the grace of God permeates every aspect of your family's business. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that the wounds of financial strain and setbacks are healed, broken strategies are mended, and their venture is infused with wisdom and guidance from the Lord. Let the healing touch from the Lord transform losses into lessons, failures into stepping stones, and the challenges into opportunities for growth. The promise of rebuilding ruined cities echoes a hope for your family's businesses. I pray for the rebuilding of confidence, innovation and prosperity within its framework. I ask that the Lord guides the leaders and the stakeholders as they chart a course towards restoration, holding on to them the hope and the promise of renewal that only God can provide. I decree your family is granted the courage to embrace change, to be void with resilience and to seek new paths when faced with adversity. May the setbacks of the past become catalysts for innovation and transformation leading to a brighter and more prosperous future. In the name of Jesus, the restoration extends beyond material wealth. It encompasses the renewal of hope and purpose and vision. The spirit of your family members are revived and are infused with creativity, determination and a sense of purpose aligned with the will of God. As you seek his guidance and strength, may your journey towards restoration be marked by his grace and miraculous intervention. I entrust your family into God's loving care, knowing that his desire is for reconciliation and restoration. May his perfect will be done as you seek to honor him in your family. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. In the book of Mark, chapter 5, verses 25 to 34, a certain woman who had suffered from continuous flow of blood for 12 years approaches Jesus in faith for healing. She had spent all that she had on the best physicians for healing without any result, but she believed that if she could touch the hem of the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ, she would be healed. And when? With her unwavering faith, she stretched her hands amongst the crowd Jesus was surrounded by, touched the hem of his garment, she immediately was made whole. Jesus, sensing that virtue has gone out of him, turned to the crowd affirming her faith, saying, Daughter! Thy faith has made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. 
Mark 5 verse 34 Now the story depicts the miraculous healing of Christ through faith. Just like the woman with the issue of blood had never met Christ but only heard about his wonderful miraculous works, believed and was healed, so also can you receive divine restoration by just trusting and believing in the divine power of Christ made available to as many that believe. The divine healing of Christ not only brings physical restoration but freedom and inner peace from sin. So as we pray together, I want you to open your heart and believe that whatever area of your life needs deliverance, you shall receive it in the name of Jesus. The scripture made us understand that he is the greatest physician and that by his stripes we are healed. We believe in the declaration of his words that we shall not die but live to proclaim the goodness of God in the land of the living. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So I speak life into anything dead in your life. We stand in faith believing in a, in a good testimony just as you did for the woman with the issue of blood, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, I come before your throne of grace believing that the same power that flows through the woman with the issue of blood is in our midst even now. I ask that your restorative power flow bring in good health and hold us to you and your loved ones. I pray that God surrounds you with his comfort and presence and grants you the strength to endure. I decree that you are healed of all your infirmity and forgiven of all your sins in Jesus' name. James 5.15 says, And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well, and the Lord will raise them. If they have sinned, they will be forgiven. I pray that your mind is fixed in the steadfastness of our Lord Jesus Christ, and that you are filled with indestructible hope in his word. For the Lord says in James 5 verses 14 and 15, Is anyone among you seek let them call the elders of the church to pray over them and anoint them with oil in the name of the Lord. I decree that by the power in the name of Jesus, a name above every other name in heaven and on earth, you receive unfathomable healing and comfort of the Holy Spirit. You are healed from all physical, mental and emotional suffering. I decree today that by the unmatched power of the Holy Ghost, you experience the transformative touch of grace in all areas of your suffering in Jesus name. And Abba Father, your holy word contains accounts of all manners of miraculous healings done by Christ during his earthly ministry. Healings which seemed impossible to the ordinary eye. I believe you are the same God of yesterday, today and forevermore and with power that transcends human limits. And I decree that everyone under the sound of my voice, that you receive that same supernatural healing and that all negative prognoses in your life are defied in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that the Lord teaches you that his word is life and health to your body. May you find healing in the promises of the Lord Jesus Christ, clinging to his words and knowing that his words will bring you restoration. I want you to repeat this after me from the book of Jeremiah 17, verse 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. As you repeated those words in faith, I declare that by the divine ordinances, you are healed and your infirmities cease in Jesus' name, never to return in the name of Jesus. Choose to bless God at all times, even amid your current trials and believe in his promises that you are healed already. As I pray a deliverance mantle is wrapped around you and upon you and that you shall have the cause to give testimony of visible healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Those around you shall acknowledge the presence of God in your life through your healing. 
Your healing shall be the cause of testimony to those around. And finally, I lean on the promise of 2 Peter chapter 1 verses 2 to 24. He bore our sins in his body on the cross that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds, we have been healed. I pray for the manifestation of this word in your life and those around you. And I say, gracious Father, I pray you hear all our petitions and that your healing power flows abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Please subscribe to our channel and God bless you as you do. Amen. Family holds immense value being our support in times of trouble. In times of weakness, your swords of resilience amidst pain, our solace in trouble, and our happiness in moments of sadness. It constitutes of your most precious treasures on this earth, deserving of your fervent prayers. It would be a great sorrow to watch your beloved family members being taken by the adversity. So you can join in this prayer, invoking the protective blood of Jesus over your family, safeguarding them in everything that matters to them. So let's pray. Heavenly Father and everlasting Lord, I am grateful for the love and protection you offer in the name of Jesus. I plead the redeeming and healing blood of Jesus over my family's health. I am assured by your word that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. And therefore, Lord, as in Isaiah 53 verse 5, where it's proclaimed that through your wounds we are healed, I claim this promise for each member of my family. May the healing power of Jesus' blood flow through every vein, organ and cell, restoring and revitalizing our bodies. I reject every form of illness, disease or infirmity that seeks to undermine the health of my family. And by the authority in the blood of Jesus and in the name of Jesus, I command healing and restoration to manifest in every aspect of our physical, emotional and mental health. Your word in Psalm 103 verses 2 and 3 declare that your healing all our diseases and redeem our lives from destruction. I trust in your healing touch, knowing that you are the ultimate healer who brings wholeness and wellness to our bodies. May your divine protection shield us from all forms of sickness, infirmity and harm. Grant us the strength to walk in good health, enabling us to serve you and others with vigor and vitality. Heavenly Father, your word affirms the significance of the blood of Jesus which speaks of redemption, prosperity, and protection. I plead the powerful and enriching blood of Jesus over my family's wealth. May your divine coverings have guard every aspect of our financial endeavors, ensuring prosperity and abundance in accordance with your will. Dear Lord, as in Deuteronomy 8.18, you grant the ability to produce wealth, and I pray for your guidance and favor in managing our resources. Let your wisdom and discernment guide our decisions leading to increased prosperity and financial stability. I declare your promise in Philippians 4.19 that you shall supply all our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. I trust in your provision and ask for an overflow of blessings upon our finances, enabling us to be a blessing to others as well. I rebuke every form of financial strain lack or setback by the authority found in the name of Jesus and by the blood. May your abundance flow into our lives, allowing us to honor your with our finances and live a life of generosity and gratitude. Your word, merciful Father, reveals the potency and sanctifying power found in the blood of Jesus. I plead the redeeming and shield and blood of Jesus over every aspect of my family's life. May your precious blood cover each member, save God in them from all harm, evil, and calamity. Let it form a protective shield around our lives, preserving us from sin and unseen diseases. As in Exodus 12 verse 13, where the blood was a sign of deliverance, I claim the same deliverance 
over my family's life. May your blood serve as a constant refuge, guarding us from all forms of danger, whether physical, emotional, or spiritual. I declare your promise in Psalm 19 verses 11 and 12 that your angels will guard and protect us in all our ways. I pray for angelic protection and guidance to accompany us through every step of our lives. Let the cleansing power of Jesus' blood purify our thoughts, actions, and relationships, fostering unity, love, and harmony within our family. May your peace reign in our hearts and your presence be evident in every aspect of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for the immeasurable protection and grace found in the blood of Jesus. I receive by faith the covering and safeguarding of my family's life through the powerful blood of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, as Psalm 121 verse 8 assures us that you watch over our coming and going, I pray for your vigilant presence to accompany us. May the blood of Jesus be a shield protecting us from accident, harm and any form of danger as we navigate through our daily lives. I claim your promise in Deuteronomy 28 verse 6 that blesses our coming in and our going out. Let every outing be filled with your favor and never return to our home be greeted with your peace and protection. May the blood of Jesus create a barrier against every negative influence, evil intention or harm that seeks to confront us as we step out into the world. Guard our hearts, minds and bodies and lead us safely back to the warmth and security of our home. Thank you, Lord, for your unseasoned protection and grace. I receive by faith the covering and the safety of my families going out and coming in through the powerful blood of Jesus. And in the name of Jesus, I come before you grateful for your abundant blessings and grace. Your word reminds me that in your presence is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I plead the joyous and liberating power of the blood of Jesus over my family. May the covering of his blood bring a profound sense of joy that surpasses all circumstances, filling our hearts and home with laughter, peace and contentment. Dear Lord, as you promise in Psalm 16 verse 11, show us the path of life where there is abundant joy in your presence. I pray that the joy of the Lord becomes our strength, lifting us above any gloom, despair or turmoil that seeks to overshadow us. By the authority in the blood of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of sadness, anxiety or hopelessness that attempts to rob us of joy. I declare your promise in John 16, 24, asking that our hearts be filled with joy that no one can take away. May the joy of salvation, redemption and victory secured by the blood of Jesus overflow within our family. Let it be a beacon of light that shines through any darkness illuminating our lives with the hope, laughter and gratitude. Thank you, Lord, for the gift of joy that comes through the covering of Jesus' blood. I receive by faith the abundant joy and happiness you offer to my family. Your word assures me of the peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that comes only through the precious blood of Jesus. I plead the calming, restoring and unifying power of Jesus' blood over my family's peace. Let your peace reign in every heart, every conversation and every circumstance we encounter. May the tranquility that emanates from your presence settle within our home, dispelling anxiety, fear and discord. Just as you, dear Father, spoke peace to the storm in Mark 4 verse 39, I speak peace into the storms of our lives, calm every turbulence and mend every rift and restore harmony within our family unit. May your peace become the anchor that steadies us through every trial and challenge. May your word, as it is said in John 14, 27, with the promise of peace unlike the world's, a gift from Jesus himself, I plead for thy divine peace to saturate our home, permeating every aspect of our lives, bringing serenity, comfort and assurance in every moment. In Jesus' name, I approach your throne of grace, grateful for your boundless love. Your word speaks of power of the blood of Jesus to heal, redeem, and restore. I plead the potent and transforming blood of Jesus over the love within my family. Lord, 
Your love is the cornerstone of our relationships. May the blood wash away any bitterness, resentment or discord that may hinder our love for one another. Let your love which is patient and kind abound in our interactions, binding us together in unity and understanding. As the word in 1 Corinthians 13 describes love's attributes, may your blood empower us to embody these qualities within our family. Let our love be genuine, selfless, forgiving and enduring, mirroring the sacrificial love demonstrated through Jesus' blood on the cross. I ask for your grace to permeate every aspect of our relationships, strengthening the bond between each family member. May your love be the guiding force in our interactions, decisions and responses towards one another. Precious Lord, may the blood of Jesus create an atmosphere of harmony and compassion and grace within our home. Let it be a place where forgiveness flows freely, understanding reigns and where love abounds unconditionally. Thank you Lord for the transformative power of the blood of Jesus. I trust in its ability to enhance and enrich the love within my family. And in the name of Jesus, I lift up our families, business and careers before you, acknowledging that every good thing comes from you. I plead the powerful and protective blood of Jesus over our endeavors, seeking your guidance, favor and provision. Lord, your word tells me of the cleansing and redeeming power in the blood of Jesus. I pray that your blood covers my business and career, shielding them from any harm, deception or schemes of the enemy. May your divine protection encompass every aspect of our work and professional lives. As I declare protection of our business and careers, let the blood of Jesus serve as a beacon of light, guiding our decisions, attracting opportunities, and guarding against any form of setback or failure. I declare your promise in Proverbs 16.3, committing our plans and work to you. Grant us wisdom, discernment, and creativity in our business dealings and careers. Let your divine favor rest upon us, opening doors of success and prosperity. May the blood of Jesus purify our intentions, relationships, and actions in the professional sphere, leading us to conduct our business and careers with integrity, honesty, and compassion. In Jesus' mighty and protecting name, I pray. Your home stands as a sanctuary, a place of refuge where amidst life's trials, you discover serenity. If the enemy has sought to rob this peace, dismantling it piece by piece, I invite you to join in this prayer. You need not wait for the devil to disrupt your peace. As a believer, you confront your battles right at the outset. Let's unite in prayer pleading the blood of Jesus over your home, for his blood speaks far greater things than even Abel's blood. Let's pray. In the name of Jesus, in reverence and humility, I come before you, dear Lord, acknowledging your sovereignty and boundless love. As in the days of old, when the blood of the Lamb protected the Israelites, I plead the blood of Jesus over my home. Just as you instructed in Exodus 12, 13, when you see the blood, you pass over and no destructive force touches those sheltered beneath it. May the blood of Jesus be a shield guiding my home from harm, evil and any form of adversity. I claim the authority granted through Christ's sacrifice as a covering over every entrance every room and every heart dwelling within these walls. Let the blood of Jesus be a barrier against any plan or scheme of the enemy. I pray for faith to trust in the efficacy of Christ's blood shed for me and it serves as a constant reminder of redemption, protection and deliverance. Thank you for the promise of your divine protection, Lord, and may this home be a sanctuary where your presence abides where the blood of Jesus is our constant shield and where peace, love and harmony flourish. Dear Lord Jesus, I am grateful for the power and victory found in your precious blood. Your word in Revelation 12:11 declares that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb 
on the word of our testimony. Today I plead the blood of Jesus over my home, invoking the overcoming power inherent in his sacrifice. The blood of Jesus is a shield of fortress and a barrier against all forces of darkness that seek to infiltrate this home. I stand firm on the assurance that through his blood, I am victorious over every scheme and attack of the enemy. I declare and affirm that this home is consecrated and protected by the redeeming power of the blood of Jesus. Let his blood cover every doorpost, every room and every member of this household, guarding us against harm, evil and spiritual oppression. As Revelation 12, 11 affirms, I also testify to the greatness of your mercy, grace and protection in my life. And in this place, I ask that you strengthen my faith, Lord, and empower me to live boldly in the victory secured by Jesus' blood. May the love that caused you to shed your blood for my home bring peace, joy and divine protection. In accordance with Psalm 91 verses 10 and 11, which assures us that no evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling. I come before you seeking the covering of your divine protection. I plead the blood of Jesus over every inch of this home, symbolizing your ultimate shield against all forms of evil, harm and negativity. Just as you promised to provide a sanctuary in times of trouble, I trust in your unfailing protection over this household. May the blood of Jesus act as a barrier preventing any evil influence or destructive force from entering this place. Let your angels encamp around this dwelling, guarding it against every threat or scheme of the enemy. As mentioned in Psalm 34 verse 7, give us the confidence to rest in your shelter, knowing that your blood has redeemed us and secured our safety. I cling to your promise of protection and claim it over our home declaring it as a space sanctified by the power of Christ's blood. Thank you, Lord, for your constant watchfulness and unwavering love. May this home be a sanctuary where your presence reigns and your peace prevails. In the mighty name of Jesus, I approach your throne of grace with thanksgiving in my heart. Your word in Isaiah 53 verse 5 declares that by the stripes of Jesus we are healed. I plead the powerful and healing blood of Jesus over our home, believing in your promise of divine health and restoration over our home. I thank you for we live in divine health. Dear Lord, as Exodus 15, 26 assures us that you are the God who heals, I seek your divine intervention against sickness and infirmity. May your healing power permeate every room, every corner and every inhabitant of this home driving away all illness or disease. In Psalm 103 verses 2 and 3, you forgive all our iniquities and heal all our diseases. I claim this promise for my household, trusting in your mercy and healing grace to cover us against any form of sickness. Be it physical, emotional or spiritual, you are our refuge and our fortress. Psalm 91 says no plague shall come near our dwelling. I stand on your word, believing that the blood of Jesus serves as a shield, protecting my home from all harm and illness. I present every member of this household before you, asking for your healing touch and restoration. Sickness of any kind is not our portion. And in the precious name of Jesus, I come before you grateful for your provision and abundance. Your word in 1 Peter 1 verses 18 and 19 remind me that I was redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus, freed me and my household from the grip of lack and insufficiency. Dear Father, I plead the redeeming blood of Jesus over my home, invoking the power that breaks every chain of lack and scarcity. Using your promise in Philippians 4.19 that assures me that you shall supply all my needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I claim this promise for my household, trusting in your unfailing provision. You are the God who multiplies and blesses abundantly, as seen in Psalm 115 verse 14. And I stand on your promise that you will increase us more and more. Both I and my children may abundance flow into every aspect of our lives, 
within these worlds. I surrender our needs into your loving hands, confident in your faithfulness to provide abundantly. I reject the spirit of lack and declare your abundance over every area of our lives. Let your blessings overflow, covering us in every form, be it financial, emotional, spiritual, or material. Thank you, Lord, for your boundless provision and grace. I receive by faith the promise of abundance over this home. And in the powerful name of Jesus, I come before you with reverence and gratitude. Your word in Exodus 12, 13 is sure that when you see the blood, you pass over and no destructive plague will touch us. I plead the protective and redeeming blood of Jesus over my home, seeking shelter from any threat of untimely death. Death will see the blood of Jesus on my home and pass by every member of this household bears the mark of the Lord Jesus and therefore death can't trouble us. Heavenly Father, according to Psalm 91 verse 16, you promise long life and show salvation to those who dwell in your shelter. I declare your promise over this household, claiming the assurance of your protection against any form of premature death. As for me and my household, we will leave and we shall live to testify the Lord's goodness in our lives. My present household and the generations to come shall be satisfied with long life. Your word in John 10.10 10 says that Jesus came to give us life in abundance and to protect us from the thief who comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. I stand firm in the authority of Jesus' blood, rebuking any spirit of death or destruction from this dwelling. My household and every living being in it has life in abundance because Jesus has given it to us. The devil cannot steal what the Lord has given us for the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead abides in this home i plead for the sanctifying power of Jesus' blood over every individual in this home purifying us and shielding us from any danger of premature death i reject and nullify every plan or scheme of the enemy aimed at causing harm or cutting short the lives of those within these walls let the protection and life-given power of jesus blood prevail in every aspect of our lives thank you lord for your unfailing protection and preservation. I receive by faith the assurance of safety and longevity over this home. In Jesus' mighty and life-given name, I pray. Amen. God possesses the exclusive power to unlock doors that remain shut by any other force. He alone creates pathways even in seemingly impossible situations, providing you with breakthroughs. Life often closes doors right before you, despite our persistent knocking. However, God consistently intervenes. Though those doors may have stayed shut for an extended period, God is now ushering in a breakthrough for you. So you can join in this prayer, embracing his promise that whoever knocks shall see those doors swung wide open. If you believe it, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I trust in your promises of breakthrough and open doors. Your word in Matthew 7, 7 assures us that whoever knocks the door will be opened. I stand in faith believing that as I knock on the door of opportunity, you will graciously open it for me because your word has already said it. Lord, life presents challenges and closed doors, but you are the God who makes a way where there seems to be no way. I seek your divine intervention and breakthrough in my situation, knowing that you are the ultimate opener of doors that no one can shut. Your promise in Revelation 3, 8 speaks of an open door that no man can shut because of your unfailing support. Lord, I ask that you grant me the wisdom to recognize the doors you open for me and the courage to walk through them in faith. I surrender my plans and aspirations in your loving hands, trusting in your perfect timing and provision. Guide me, Lord, to the opportunities 
and pathway you have destined for me and let your favor go before me. I come before your throne of grace he can break through and open doors in my life. Your word in Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Gracious Father, I ask for your divine guidance and direction to pave a new path for me, a new path of breakthrough for me in my life. I also ask that you open my eyes that I may see the doors you're opening for me. I would not lose my opportunity due to the lack of discernment. I have been in the wilderness for a while now, but Father, Lord, by the revelation and the word of God, I thank you for I see the river springing forth. Your promise in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reassures me that you have plans for me. My welfare, not for evil, to give me a future and a hope. I pray for clarity and wisdom to recognize the opportunities you place before me. Opportunities of financial breakthrough, emotional breakthrough, marital breakthrough. In Philippians 4, 6, you urge us to not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving to let our requests be made known to you. I bring before you my desire for breakthrough before you, knowing that you are the God of possibilities. Help me, O oh Lord, to trust in your timing and be patient as I wait for doors to open. Lord Jesus, I come before you in gratitude, acknowledging that it is you who gives me the ability to produce wealth, as written in Deuteronomy 8.18. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. I thank you for the resources and opportunities you provided with me thus far. Lord, I seek your divine intervention in my financial situation. I pray for breakthrough and open doors in my finances. Guide me, Father, to make wise decisions that align with your will and purpose for my life as I navigate financial challenges and seek avenues to improve my financial well-being. I trust in your promise to provide for all my needs according to your riches and glory as mentioned in Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Gracious Lord, I ask for your guidance and provision in this financial journey. Your word in Joshua 1 verse 8 reminds me to meditate on your Lord day and night, to observe to do according to all that is written. Faithful Lord, I commit my financial endeavors to align with your will and teachings. Give me the wisdom to handle my finances in a way that honors you. Help me to be diligent, disciplined, and faithful in my stewardship. As you promise in this verse, the prosperity and success accompany those who meditate on your word. I ask that the Holy Spirit guides my financial decisions and actions, leading to breakthrough and open doors in my finances. Enable me to recognize opportunities for growth, income and provision that align with your purpose for my life. I ask for your divine favor and blessing upon my efforts that they may bear fruit abundantly as you have promised to prosper the work of my hands in Psalm 90 verse 17. As I seek financial stability and growth, let it not be solely for personal gain but also to honor you and be a channel of blessings to others in need. Faithful Father, I am grateful for the talents and opportunities you have bestowed upon me. Your word reminds me in Proverbs 16 verse 3 that if I commit my work to you, my plans will be established. Lord, I commit my plans in life to you. Father, establish them in the name of Jesus and give them life. I pray for clarity and vision and wisdom from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 as I navigate my business and career. Guide my steps and grant me discernment to recognize the doors you open for me in life. In spiritual, financial and emotional life as mentioned in Revelation 3 8 that no one can shut. I ask for breakthroughs in my endeavors as you promise to help me remain steadfast in faith and patience and waiting, knowing that in due time, as in Galatians 6 verse 9, I will reap a harvest if I do not give up. I ask you, Lord, that you give me the strength to stay in the process till the very end. I will not give up. As you have said, the expectations of the righteous will not be cut short. 
I will get to my expected end through who strengthens me. May my work bring glory to your name and be a blessing to others, aligning with the principles of integrity and diligence found in Proverbs 10 verse 4 and Colossians chapter 3 verses 23 to 24. Provide me with favor and connections that will further your purposes. Your word, dear Father, in Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 reminds me that marriage is a sacred union and I seek your guidance and blessings upon our relationships. Grant I and my spouse, Lord, the wisdom and understanding from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 2 and 3 to cherish and support one another in love and unity. Help us to be quick to listening, slow to speaking and slow to becoming angry. Fostering a spirit of patience and grace in our communication. Lord, I pray for breakthroughs in any areas of tension of misunderstanding as you promised in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6, 6 and 7 that through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard our hearts and minds in Christ. May this peace fill the heart of my spouse and my marriage that the marriage would not fall. There will be a breakthrough. I pray that you open doors of peace, joy and love in my marriage. May your love which never fails as is written in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 4 to 7 be the foundation of my marriage. Grant me strength in times of trials trusting in your promise. From 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 that you will not let me be tempted beyond what we can bear. Father, open doors of reconciliation and forgiveness when needed, reminding us of your example of forgiveness in Colossians 3.13. Help us to extend grace and mercy towards each other as you have shown us. Give unto us, dear Father, insight and understanding from Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 to trust in you with all my heart and lean not on my own understanding acknowledging you in all my ways so that my parts in my relationships may be directed by you help me lord to always speak in love and to ensure that i am at peace with everyone i seek breakthroughs in communication empathy and mutual respect as advised in james chapter 1 verse 19 to be quick to listening slow to speak and slow to anger Help me to be a vessel of your love and compassion, showing patience, kindness and humility in my relationships. Guide me to build relationships that honor you, seeking harmony and peace, as written in Romans 12, 18. May your presence be the foundation of all my connections, bringing healing, restoration and strength to the bonds I share with others. I lift up my family before you, knowing that you are the source of all healing and reconciliation, your word teaches in Psalm 133, verse 1, the beauty and power of unity among brethren. And Ephesians chapter 4, verse 32, you encourage us to be kind and compassionate, forgiving one another just as Christ forgave us. I pray for breakthrough in my family dynamics, seeking restoration, understanding and harmony. Grant us the wisdom to respond gently in times of conflict and to love at all times especially in moments of adversity. Help us, Lord, to communicate with grace and humility, following the guidance of Colossians 3, verses 13 and 14, to bear with one another and to clothe ourselves with love which binds everything together in perfect harmony. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Please subscribe to our channel. God bless you.